Teachers who display or give a student a book deemed unallowed could face up to five years in prison. You heard that right. Five years in prison for handing a child a book. The law requires books to be free from pornography, instruction on sexual orientation or gender identity in kindergarten through third grade, and discrimination in a way that an individual by virtue of his or her race, color, sex, or national origin is inherently racist or oppressive, whether consciously or unconsciously. Flamer by Mike Curato was found in Broward, Collier, Hillsborough, Marion, Seminole, and Volusia County schools. The camp the boys go to in the book has an island that the book says looks like a frying pan, but we're all certain it looks like a balls. It also contains a shower scene with a group of boys where a young man gets an erection. Another where a boy watches porn and asks, why is there so much hair? While noting that those are so big. And if none of this causes you to pause, there's another section where a group of boys masturbate together and are pressured to ejaculate into a bottle. Let's Talk About It by Erica Moen and Matthew Nolan was found in a Broward County school and contains graphic depictions of how to masturbate for males and females while also including an entire section for anal sex with an encouragement to use a butt plug. Even more startling is the guide on how to sext for children, encouraging them to send photos that don't include your face, hide your birthmarks and scars, and edit out your piercings and tattoos. Books by Rupi Kaur, such as Homebody, Milk and Honey, and The Sun and Her Flowers, have been found in 15 schools. Homebody says masturbation is meditation and speaks about how the writer wants someone to look me in the eyes when you're down there eating for your life. These books are clearly not just conversation starters about the birds and the bees. They are pushing an agenda. Gender Queer was found in Orange, St. Lucie, and Hillsborough County schools and is a graphic novel depicting masturbation and encouraging trans surgery by equating the scars from top surgery, the cutting off of females' breasts, with a tattoo. Let me ask you, yeah. what does Governor Ron DeSantis not know about black history and the black experience when he says that slavery and the aftermath of slavery should not be taught to Florida school children? I don't know what he knows and what he doesn't know, but I know this. Their concerns with the current syllabus for a new advanced placement course for Florida's high schoolers called AP African American Studies. The state education board citing issues with six topics in the syllabus, including coursework on the reparations movement, black queer studies, and movements for black lives. A spokesperson for Governor Ron DeSantis says the course was rejected because it, quote, lacks educational value and historical accuracy. The latest to be pulled for review, a book about baseball legend Roberto Clemente. A passage in Roberto Clemente, Pride of the Pittsburgh Pirates, references the racism he faced in the U.S. A is for activist, where L is for LGBTQ, T is for trans, and Z is for Zapatista, a far-left Mexican terrorist group. This book was found in six school districts, Broward, Hillsboro, Orange, Lake, Pinellas, and Monroe. Listen, I'm, go I'm gonna say this one more time. Elements of critical race theory are not taught to five-year-olds. Not. It's not taught to eight-year-olds, not taught to 10-year-olds. Not My Idea, a book about whiteness, 
which was found in elementary schools in Orange, Lake, Hillsborough, and Broward counties. We will not teach that racism is a white person's problem. We will teach that it is a problem for all to tackle. We will not inject it to a young child's mind that the contract binding you to whiteness will get you stolen land, stolen riches, and special favors.